What's up, my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley, and welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. These are general messages only, so take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. This is for the 6th to the 11th of April 2020. If you'd like to purchase a reading from me where your, where your story lies, I'm sent for you because it's personal for you in mind. You can find all the information on how to reach me for a reading in the description box down below. Without any further ado, I've pulled two cards from you from the Lenormand and two cards from the Mystical Manga Tarot deck. One of them was an outcome card, um, as I needed clarity. So the two from the Lenormand is Fox and Okay. And then the two tarot is two of swords, seven of swords. Okay. All right. So right off the bat, this is going to be a bit of a warning spread. So I feel like there is, I feel like there is a, okay, let's, let's do the tarot first in the order that I did. The two of swords represents a stalemate situation. Uh, it represents not really fully knowing where to go on a decision, on a choice. It doesn't, you, it's feeling stuck in the moment. You don't know what to choose because somebody has come out and made themselves known that they are deceptive, that they are cunning, that they're kind of going behind your back. I, um, when I, if you watch my other readings that I've done for Taurus and Gemini so far, the fox has come out for both of them as well. Um, it represents a cunning situation where somebody is definitely holding somebody under power, under their power, being cunning, being deceptive with them, um, holding back their truth. I kind of see this as the Seven of Swords. When I read this in general, I usually denote it to the Seven of Swords. So it's funny that this came out as the outcome. So it's definitely that I feel like you are involved with somebody. When I see the bouquet, I see offering some sort of love to somebody. I see this as a romance card. So I feel for a lot of people that are going through relationship blockages right now, I feel like you might be left with a choice that you don't know what to do in this situation because somebody has proven that they are sneaky. Somebody has proven that they don't have your best interests in mind and they have proven that they're kind of being a dick. And it's, it's, uh, you you are kind of under wraps. You don't really 100% know where this goes because this person, this person does not have your best energy in mind. Or it's not necessarily that they don't have your best energy in mind. They are just more so being deceptive and showing like certain attributes that you don't particularly care for. Um, it's not. I don't see this as a leaving kind of thing. I don't see anybody here actually leaving. But I do see that you need to make a choice that you kind of don't really know what to do. So let's see what that choice where that choice will bring you, what it is, will happen when you finally make that choice, that stalemate decision. Okay, you come in with your truth and you definitely cut, you're either cutting things out or you're saying, listen, this is what I need, this isn't the bottle, this is what I, this is what I need, I'm coming in, I'm taking it out, like, it, you're coming in chaotically, <laughs> you're coming in pretty fast and my, my advice for you is to, with this card, it can sometimes mean that you don't fully see the truth, that the full truth is, where you are seeing things in black and white and you're not fully viewing things in the most correct light. So my advice to you is before you make any decisions, before you go ahead and cut somebody out of your life, before you go ahead and say this is definitely what this is, make sure you're looking at things in a completely different perspective. Make sure you get outside guidance. Make sure that your ducks are all in a row and make sure that you are not being biased to this. Um, like level yourself, ground yourself, scale the situation. Is it? Am I really in danger? Is this person really a hundred percent doing this to me? Ask the questions. Make sure that you get the full answers before you come in and decide what to do. Because you're coming in pretty quickly, and my my. Um, it's kind of a big jump from not being able to move to 100% just coming in and woof, because the Knight of Swords can cut people out. So my advice to you is to slow your roll. Make sure that you have all your decks in a row. If this person has actually been deceptive to you, if you don't want this person in your life, you don't have to have this person in your life if it actually if they are actually portraying this, if this has actually happened, but I have doubt. I have doubt that they are actually 100% doing this and that a lot of it, I don't want to say that a lot of it's in your head, but I think that you might be making the situation worse in your head than it actually is, which is why I'm asking for you. If it is as bad as it is, then, you know, go ahead and do whatever you need to do. But if it's not, take the time, make sure that you have all of your questions answered because I feel like that's part of the problem with this Two of Swords is you don't really know the truth. Make sure that you go ahead and get the truth before you make any decisions for the star sign of Pisces. All right, Pisces, not terrible. Just make sure that you have a clear head when you do this, when you go through this. It's not going to be trash. Just make sure that you do things where you know all the answers first before you make any bold assumptions. All right, Pisces, that's all I need to know. Take care. Peace out, my moon tribe.